Hi guys, hopefully everyone is doing well today. So I'm here with my Sunday sit down and this video, I, w I was a little scared to put it up, but um, I figured it can probably help some people out there um, to not make the same mistake as I did. So, you know, I don't really have a lot of high-end makeup as far as eyeshadows, mascara, and, and such like that. So, I went on eBay and I wanted to purchase a few items and I came across some MAC stuff. Now, I'm not sure what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting fake products. That's one thing that I wasn't expecting, especially for the amount of money that I paid for it. Um, so let me just jump right in and show you all that I purchased. And I'm hoping that this can help people not make the same mistake. Um, and also just so you can be aware of what you're buying and know that buy from reputable sites. For me, eBay is not one of them. Um, probably not Amazon. As far as makeup concerned, I don't know. This has really changed my whole, um, I guess, outlook on where I would buy makeup. Probably the only one that me personally would buy from is probably Outlook. And because I've, anyways, let me just jump right in and show you what I got. So, um, I got, let me see, one, two, three, I got four of these, and this is what it says, that they are MAC Cream Shadows. Then when you turn it around, do you see the number there? Well, apparently, none of MAC's stuff are numbered. And let me show you... This one in the inside, sorry, someone's going by. Um, these, MAC has never made, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 12 pan palettes. And that's what this is, a 12 pan palette, okay? So I got four of those. got this five Hello Kitty eyeshadow pan this is what it looks like it comes with two brushes apparently this is fake I went to the Mac store because I had a really bad reaction to one of the products that I got um, let's see which was another one that sh they had said this one's fake this one is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, a 12 eyeshadow palette, Hello Kitty. Um, this is fake. Um, what else? I got this, these, I forget what you call these. Um, baked eyeshadows, I think you call them. I got two of them. I got these two. They also have numbers on them. These are also fake. They're beautiful. I mean, I'm just a little upset because I can't return these. I can't get my money back. I'm actually um, going through a process with the bank to try to get, because I did use a, um, a card. And yeah, this was another one that's fake these little shadows here and they actually have a little bottom to them um, the lady at Mac told me that those don't exist there's no such thing as a little bottom mirror for these so this was fake um, I got a lipstick it was this Heatherette who the hell knows it is also fake 
and I, I won't even open them because it's just not even worth it. It has a number, number 14 on the bottom. It doesn't even have names for any of this kind of stuff. Um, and then the product that made my eyelids swollen was this here. What did I do with it? Oh, here it is. It's the MAC Liquid Eyeliner. And I had put this on, I don't even know why I'm showing it to you because it's not even worth showing. Um, I did my makeup, we were going out, and I, I'm going to say maybe 10 to 15 minutes later as we're going down the street, I know what it's like to get an eye lid or eye reaction to makeup. Um, I work in the eye field, so I know the signs of it. So as soon as I started to feel the tingliness on my eyelid, I quickly got a one of my daughter's wipies and I started wiping all my makeup off. And no sooner did I do that, I sh I promise you that the my the tops of my eyelids it looked like they were injected with saline. Like they were so big, it was so disgusting. And I started to cry because I'm like, what the hell, I haven't used anything new. And then I'm like, wait, this is what I, this is the newest thing that I use because my eyeshadow is the same, um, but this was the only thing that I had never used. And it was the, right where my eyelids were all swollen. Um, so please be careful where you buy makeup, um, be aware that there are tons of people out there selling fake products. They featured on the news and me like a pendeja, I've watched that and I'm like, I would never buy anything that's fake. I am very cautious and that kind of thing. I don't like to waste money, um, but... Um, I was a sucker. I bought it not knowing um, that I was buying fake stuff because it says it, it said it on their ad that it's all real and um, all of what I've read and what the lady was telling me at Mac was that and I've also heard it on these uh, I saw it on Good Morning America that a lot of these products have the lead content is so high that you can you can get burns from blushes that have too much lead in it and um, that it's not good for your face the lead content in these products so please please be careful who you buy from just know that if you're buying Mac products from someone and it's not actually the Mac store, you're more than likely buying fake stuff. So just be careful. I wanted to do this as um, just to be aware that there are crooks out there that are trying to make money off of these fake products. And unfortunately, I am one of them. If you I have purchased anything from any online sites that you know about that you want to let people know please put in the comments below because I'm sure it would help a lot of people and I'm hoping that this helps some people um, into not buying this kind of stuff because it's not fun so that's it for my Sunday sit down I hope you enjoyed this video I hope to never do a sad video like this ever again but I hope that it helps someone out there from buying fake stuff. So I hope y'all have a wonderful Sunday. And until my next video, y'all take care. Bye.